my name is Abby and today we are here to do my highly ambitious TBR for September. Now, I had such a successful July and August that I am trying my best to be able to continue that momentum into September because there are so many September releases in YA this month. Like, it's crazy. So I want to try to stay as on top of them as possible. That way I don't start falling behind into the end of the year. So this video is going to be talking about a lot of the releases that are coming out and I just really, really hope that I can get to all of them as well as all of the books that I currently have sitting before me. So we're going to see how it goes and let's go ahead and get into it. So the first book that we're going to talk about is actually a book that I've had my eye on for a while that I'm really glad I was able to go ahead and grab and that is Timekeeper by Tara Sim. The book is set in a kind of alternate Victorian time when the entire world is controlled by clock towers and in this one Danny is our main character and he is trying to save his father from what is called a stopped town so it is where the clock tower in that town is broken and therefore time is not moving forward backward it's just kind of at a standstill uh, I've actually had the sequel chain breaker on my TBR for the longest and they went ahead and grabbed the first book and I am definitely trying to read it this month I'm super excited I hope I'm able to do so and I really also just love the cover and everything I think it's so pretty and speaking of time watches and everything I wanted to go ahead and explain the I'm sure what you're all wondering about the giveaway that is attached to this video I am actually working with Jord watches uh, first of all they sent me this beautiful beautiful, beautiful wood watch. Uh, it is their Cassia Zebra and Ivory watch and I'm absolutely 100% obsessed with it. Um, fun fact about me actually, if you did not know this, I actually used to be a huge fan of wearing watches. I used to wear one every day in high school and I did for the first couple years of college as well. The only reason why I actually stopped was because I wound up getting a tattoo on my watch wearing hand and I hated to cover it up. But Jord is being kind enough to offer a giveaway to you guys where if you guys go down below to the link and submit for the giveaway one lucky winner will win a $100 gift card to be able to put towards their purchase and everyone else that does go through will get a 10% off code to be able to use on the website. I personally love it so much and I think it just goes so well with this book which is amazing which is so so fun and not only will the one giveaway winner win a $100 gift card to purchase their own watch. That giveaway winner, depending on where they live, will also win a $20 credit either towards Amazon or Book Depository or again any other type of area to be able to purchase a book to um, be shipped to your house. If you guys wanted to, I would love if you guys got Timekeeper by Tara Sims. That way we can read this book together if you would like or you are more than welcome to choose any book on the website. That you and I would love to be able to send that book to you just as a thank you for the continuous support from all of you guys. So again, if you guys would like to win the $100 gift card towards Jord Watches to any online book website, then again, just visit the link down below. You do have until September 23rd to enter, and I wish you all the best of luck. We will be announcing the winner on the 24th. So again, may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you to Jor for making this video possible, and let's go ahead and continue on. So the next book we're going to be talking about is Toil and Trouble. 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. This is an anthology, but it is edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. This is like it says, 15 short stories in here, kind of all about the different history of, like it says, women accused of witchcraft and fearsome girls of with arcane knowledge. Ever since I heard about it, I have been so excited to pick it up and read it. So this is definitely going to be a read that I will be getting to very, very soon. So then the next book that I really want to read, uh, the next two books I'm going to mention are actually both coming out on September 4th. The first one is The Curses by Lori Eve. And this this book is the long awaited sequel to The Graces by Lori Eve, which I read about two years ago. So, this book is all about the Graces siblings. And then we have River, who is the new girl in school and has just becomes obsessed with the Graces and wants to learn all about these siblings and who they are and what makes them so popular. And she's able to kind of squeeze herself into their group by pretending to be something that she's not. And 
This book ended on a, if I remember correctly, on a very interesting note. So I'm definitely going to be at the very least reading like the last 40 to 50 pages of this book before I jump into the sequel. But I'm just very excited to finally get to continue and it's just, it's been a long time coming and I'm so excited. Also, I do think that I'm just now realizing how many sequels I have on this list. It's kind of insane. But the next book I'm talking about is also coming out on, on September 4th, and that is Two Dark Reigns by Kendar Blake, which is the third book in the Three Dark Crowns series, again, by Kendar Blake. First one being Three Dark Crowns, second one being One Dark Throne. Uh, I have read both of these as they've been, as they've been coming out. Um, the first one I actually wasn't super impressed by, but this second one I loved so much. It's all about a set of triplets who are born into the knowledge that as they get older one day one of them will be queen by killing off the other two. All three of them have a different magic, one being an elemental, one being a naturalist, and one being a poisoner. And it is just super dark, super political. I feel like with both of these I really rooted for a different sister in each one so I'm interested to see if the third one is going to change my mind about which one I want to see on top. But both of these were just really fun and again I loved the second one so super excited to get into the third one. So the next book I'm going to talk about is a book that uh, that caused a little bit of mystery on my Twitter and Instagram and I'm really excited to share with you guys that myself and my friend Emily are coming together to form just a small little books little book club by reading Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Uh, you guys picked this book out of four books that I just put on Twitter without any type of context and this is the book that you guys chose and so we are coming together to read this book and then we are going to be having a live show at the end of the month to discuss it. I unfortunately still do not have all the dates and stuff figured out yet but I will have it listed right here because I'm sure by the time I edit and post this video I will know. Um, but definitely I will be talking more about it as we get a little bit closer to a lot on my Twitter. Uh, so again, if you guys are not following me there yet, my Twitter is at Abigail Haley. Uh, it's always down in the description box if you guys wanted to come over and join me. That is where I kind of do more of my kind of informal talks and that kind of stuff. So definitely come and check us out there. I will also have Emily linked down below and so that way you can go and check her out if you'd like, but she will be coming and joining me on the channel to discuss this book with you guys. I'm really hoping that I enjoy it because the sequel is coming out in November I think so it'll be nice to kind of get a head start on this and hopefully really enjoy it that way I can read the sequel. Uh, I have loved every Marissa Meyer book that I have read so hopefully this one will not let me down. The next two books that we're going to be talking about are both releasing on the 18th. The first one being Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. The first one being Stalking Jack the Ripper, and the second one being Hunting Prince Dracula. So this one just continues to follow the craziness of the first two books. We are following Audrey Rose and her like sidekick partner Thomas as they are traveling from overseas to America on this streamliner and they wind up finding out that they are joined by this like band of circus performers and everything seems fine and dandy until at some point these females start to go missing and they kind of take it upon themselves to try to solve the mystery and I just love the duo. I love Audrey Rose and Thomas so much. I think that they are just so fun together and I am so, so excited to get to just continue in this series. So then the next book that's also releasing on the 18th that is coming out is The Storm Runner by Jennifer Sarantes. This is the next book in the Rick Ryden Presents that is coming out. It's the second one under his new label and I'm just so excited for this label and I'm so grateful for it. So pretty much if you haven't heard a lot about this label, it is his way of being able to release a different uh, different mythology books all about the different cultures all over the world and um, from own voices point of view. So they are writing from about their own culture. This one focuses on Maya mythology which I have never really read about or researched and this one focuses on a boy named Zane who has a physical disability and he lives in New Mexico and one of his like favorite things ever is exploring some of the dormant volcanoes in the area. And one day at school this new girl named Brooks comes up to him and says that he is destined to release this god from this ancient 
uh, Maya Relic. That is really all that I know. To be honest, the synopsis on Goodreads is kind of all over the place, so I'm really just waiting and excited to get this book in my hand and actually kind of read it so I can understand what it's fully about so I can explain it to you guys but I'm just super excited. I have loved every single Rick Riordan book that I've read so far. I loved Arusha in the End of Time by Rashani Chachki who was the first author to be released under the Rick Riordan Presents and I'm just so excited to get to read this next one. So the next book that we are then talking about is The Hollow Crown by Jeff Wheeler. This is the fourth book in the King Fountain series. I read the first three earlier in August and really really loved them and this book actually takes place many many years after the third book so this is kind of like the next set of trilogy in the full series. Uh, so I'm super excited to read this one. I really can't say a lot about this book without spoiling anything. But the first book, The Queen's Poisoner, is all about a little boy named Owen who winds up getting taken hostage. And even as a young eight-year-old boy, he quickly realizes that in order to be able to maintain in court and show his worth, he does um, start to lie and scheme and fake premonitions in order to assure that he will have the king's ear. It's almost like I think the next next generation is really kind of what starts in this book. So super excited. So the next, another sequel that I am really hoping to read this month is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic, which I read and adored last month. Uh, you, as you can see, I annotated the absolute crap out of this book. This series focuses on a boy named Kel, and he is one of the rema last remaining people who can travel between the four Londons of this world. There is Red London, Grey London, White London, and Black London. And he is kind of like the traveler who takes notes and messages back and forth between all of the different rulers of the four, of the three areas. One is not so visible anymore. Super interesting when he winds up getting caught um, with something that he should not have and just the stakes and the drama is there. Uh, so again, this is just continuing in the series. And the last new release that I have my eyes on is coming out on the 25th. So I do not know if I'm gonna wind up getting to this book in September or if I'm going to be reading it like right at the end into October. And that is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. So this book I am actually a little nervous about because I have heard that it is a like it says. It's a very dark book. Uh, it is supposed to be very gruesome, very um, frightening at times. I've almost, I've, I've read, I don't know, uh, but this is about a girl named Elizabeth who has a really, really horrible past and present. She is just not happy. She is in an abusive home and it is just not a safe time for her. She winds up getting taken in by the Frankenstein family and she winds up becoming very, very good friends and very close with the son, Victor. And everything seems wonderful and dandy until suddenly weird things start happening and she starts to wonder if maybe she just traded one nightmare for another. And I am nervous because again it's a darker book but I have loved the newer series that Kirsten White put out and that is the And I Darken trilogy which is a very dark as well historical fiction uh, and so I'm hoping I'm going to love this one just as much. All right so the last couple books that I'm going to be mentioning are books that I actually have here with me so yay. Uh, the next one that I am hoping to get to if I don't it's all right but this is one I want to get to soon and that is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. So with this book the first portion of it does take place in modern New York where pretty much all of magic for the most part is extinct and the big issue that winds up happening is that if any magic welding people wind up entering into Manhattan they get trapped in what's called the brink. Esta who is our main character is a very powerful magic wielder because she is able to pretty much time travel and go into the past. One of her biggest jobs to date though is now she has to go back to 1902 to steal this book to be able to destroy this brink before the so-called magician um, is able to destroy everything and pretty much end the world. So it sounds dramatic. It, since we are also going back to 1902, it's going to have some historical elements to it. And I've heard a lot of people who have read this really enjoy it. Uh, the sequel is coming out soon, so it's just, it's 
by the time that I read it. And then, if I have not mentioned enough very large books to completely overwhelm myself, I decided that since on October 30th, the seventh and final book of the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass is coming out, that it's time that I do a reread. <sighs> My main hope for this month is that I really want to reread Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. These are the goal for this month and then the nice thing is is that um, October is m a much less stressful month for me so I'm hoping to be able to get through the other four. If I can, if I have time, I would also like to be able to read The Assassin's Blade, which is the combination of novellas that kind of take place over a certain time. And then, as if I'm not crazy enough, the TBR jar. You guys really seem to like me picking books from the TBR, and I'm only going to be grabbing two. I normally do three picks, but I'm just going to be doing two because since my TBR is as extensive as it is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all these. It's a lot of books, but I still would like to make y'all proud if I can, so I'm going to go ahead and pick two more books. I have recently cleared out my TBR jar. I went through all of them, picked out all the books that I have read since I did go through a lot of books in the past two months, and I've also added in all the new books that I've gotten recently. So my TBR jar is up to date, and let's see what the two books are that I'm going to read. So, first one is School for Good and Evil. So well, here we are, The School for Good and Evil by Simon Chinchani. This is a children's book series. It's all about these two best friends, Sophie and Agatha, who are kind of like the stereotypical good and bad characters, and they just automatically assume that they know exactly which school they're gonna go to, only to wind up getting swapped. And Sophie winds up going to the school for evil, while Agatha winds up going to the school for good, and it's supposed to be pretty much like taking stereotypes and turning them on their heads. But the nice thing is, is I actually have all four of these books that are out right now on audiobook so if um, so this is one that I can definitely just kind of like listen to as I'm trying to get through all of these monstrosities so, and then the other book that I am going to try my best to get to is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell Okay, I don't know if that's gonna wind up happening. <laughs> so here we are, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I really do not know anything about this book whatsoever, if I'm completely honest. This is just the last Rainbow Rowell book that I currently have on my shelf that I haven't read yet. It's supposed to be, I guess, about a cute contemporary relationship. Is that what this is about? So over the course of one school year, there's a story of two star-crossed 16-year-olds smart enough to know that first love almost never lasts, but brave and desperate enough to try cute. All right, guys, that is going to be my very, very over ambitious TBR for the month of September. Please, please cross every extremity that you have that I can actually do this. I'm honestly going to be very shocked if I do, but we shall see. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books before. Again, please, no spoilers. Do not want to be spoiled before you've even had a chance to read these books, but let me know your general thoughts down below, as well as give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell beside it that lets you know when I make new videos. As always, I do have all of my social media platforms linked down below if you would like to go and join me over there, especially Goodreads and Twitter, as those are my main updating for the month. Also, do not forget forget to head on down and enter the giveaway for the $100 gift card for the Jord watch as well as the $20 gift card to whatever book site your heart desires and you guys and don't forget to also come and join me and Emily as we read this book and have a live stream about it at the end of the month I will again have all of that information for you guys linked down below as well so again you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!